So in this video, we're going to use ultrasound to assess the neck vessels and assess for jugular venous pulsation um, with the ultrasound. So in, we have the patient around about 30 degrees um, elevation, and we have the patient with the neck rotated to the left, exposing the right neck. We're going to use a linear probe on a vascular setting, and the indicator is going to be towards the patient's right. So we're going to place the probe right above the clavicle. So the structure on the right side of the screen is the common carotid artery, and you can see it's pulsating. The structure on the left side of the sc screen is the internal jugular vein. And you can see it's a lot more collapsible and it has more of a venous flow pattern. If you put color flow on here, you can see the flow of the vessels in the artery as well as in the vein. You can assess these vessels both in short and long axis. So this is a short axis of the common carotid artery. And here is a long axis. So what I did was I centered the artery, and then I rotated 90 degrees on that artery, and this is a long axis view of that artery. If I go back to the short axis view or the transverse view, I'm now going to focus on the internal jugular vein. You actually can see a little valve there on the internal jugular vein. And I'm going to rotate 90 degrees on that also. And there is the internal jugular vein in long axis view. And to assess for jugular venous pulsation, you really want to get the long axis view and look for where it tapers down. So you see it's not going to fully collapse 100% because there's still some flow that goes towards the heart. So, but you want to see basically where it tapers. And you can see here in the middle of the screen is where the internal jugular vein really tapers. And you can call that that's probably the point of your JVP. And you can correlate that with your physical exam also.